just at five. We're just hours away from GM workers in the metro and across the country from walking off the job. Good evening, everyone. I'm Andres Gutierrez. Thousands of union workers are expected to go on strike tonight. It follows negotiations between General Motors and the United Auto Workers Union falling through this weekend. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling is following this for us. And Nick, what are both sides saying up to this point? Andres, tomorrow morning, instead of seeing people show up to work at this GM plant, you may actually see them outside picketing, holding signs, because the union says they are far from a deal with GM. Our membership has opted to go on strike this evening. Hours from now, union workers will not be showing up for work here at the GM plant in KCK, but instead start a picket line. This union is standing up for our workers, our local workers are standing up for America's middle class, and we will not be diverted. The union argues they want fair wages, affordable quality health care, their share of the profits, and job security. We do not take this lightly. This is our last resort. It represents great sacrifice and great courage on the part of our members and all of us. General Motors released a statement writing, we have negotiated in good faith and with a sense of urgency, offering some details into their pitch, such as over $7 billion in investments and more than 5,400 jobs, wage increases, new profit sharing formula, and new vehicle programs. Last month, we spoke to Park University professor Nicholas Maselli about strikes, and he said they're typically the last resort for both sides when talks turn sour. If labor gets to the point where they feel like uh, management's not bargaining in good faith or there really isn't uh, any really good other good way to get management to listen, then that's really about the only weapon they've got in their arsenal. If workers go on strike, they won't get paid from GM, which Maselli says gives the corporations more power in these situations. More costly to strike than it is to just go ahead and concede and give in, which is, you know, not good and management knows that. This is a sacrifice that these members of the UAW are making. They're making it understanding it's a sacrifice for their families but they're making it with a purpose. And within the last hour, we did speak with the local unit president here, and here's what he had to say about this strike. General Motors, as far as I'm concerned, has let us down. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Now, I don't know if what people can understand about this is real, but they are, as far as we as union members are concerned, playing with our livelihood and the livelihood of those working families in throughout this country. This is to destroy that as far as I'm concerned. So on a national level, there are over 48,000 union auto workers, 2,000 which work at this plant. Over 90% of those workers are unionized. Now they have until 11.59 tonight to strike up a deal. If not, they'll be out here picketing. Reporting live, Nick Starling, 41 Action News. Thanks, Nick. As you just mentioned, 48,000 workers in the UAW work for GM, but the union membership is around 150,000 people. The other 100,000 work for either Fiat Chrysler or Ford. Late last week, UAW leaders extended existing contract with those two automakers, meaning that for workers at the Clay Como Ford plant won't be affected. And just a reminder, as both sides work towards a deal, KSHB.com will have the latest updates. You can also follow up on our free 41 Action News app.